George, I have a Dick Stewart and a Dick Morgenstern here to see you. Great. Send them in. These are the songwriters I was telling you about. Oh, they're working on the new jingle? Exactly. George! George! Dick! 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 Dick. Dick. Peg! 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 Peg. Dick! Dick. George! Dick! Dick! Dick. 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 And you remember Dick. Of course. So, gentlemen, show us what you got. Well, we looked at all the most popular holiday jingles over the last few years. Uh, Rudolph. Frosty. And of course, you and Macy's have had tremendous success with his Santa character. (laughs) (laughs) Now, what do all these mascots have in common? They're all men. And George, I don't know if you realize this, but 90% of your Macy's shoppers are women. Hmm. So we thought, what about a Christmas jingle designed for the ladies? Oh, that's wonderful. With that in mind, we now give you the new Macy's Christmas mascot for 1953, Donna, the Christmas girl! She's gonna be bigger than Howdy Doody. When you hear a cracking sound like the ice is going to break, it's only Donna, the Christmas girl, emerging from the bottom of the lake. She comes out every Christmas day when Macy's has their sale. She's a magical winter water sprite, but most of all female. She's Donna, the Christmas girl, the queen of mistletoe. She only shops at Macy's, cause their prices are so low. She glazes trees with ice and frost and makes the snowflakes twirl. It's Christmas time and Donna is a girl. (laughs) I like it. Well, I like mentioning the store. I'm a little confused by all this living in the lake stuff. Oh, she's magical, like Frosty. Frosty is magical, George. Well, sure, but... uh, Kids love this stuff. Just listen to this next part. There's more. When your nose turns red and starts to feel like it's gonna fall off your face. That's cause Donna the Christmas girl has trapped you in her cold embrace. (laughs) And later when your car won't start due to the icy breeze. That's Donna growling. Go to Macy! For a jar of antifreeze. We don't sell antifreeze. We can stock it. She's Donna, the Christmas girl, the queen of shopping deals. She wears a crown of mud and sticks and feeds on bats and eels. <laughs> She'll make JC Penny run and hide when he sees her claws unfurl. It's Christmas time and Donna is a girl. Oh, she's still a girl. Okay, I'm definitely confused at this part. I, I don't think we should be making threats to J.C. Penny. It's a friendly little jab of the competition. All right, I'm also confused by the crown of mud and sticks. Well, she lives in a lake. Yeah, that's, that's why what, she eats the eels. Yeah. Oh, it's not that I don't understand where the eels come from. It's that I don't understand how that image is supposed to help us sell fur coats and toy trains. Just wait till you see the parade balloon. She's holding a Macy's oven. Baking cookies made of dirt. She has tentacles for a face. Just listen to the bridge. There's a bridge. Then one year the red Chinese kidnapped old Saint Nick. And even General MacArthur could not talk them out of it. Oh my goodness. So Donna came a thousand miles with her cold and swampy smile. She seduced chairman. Mouth a tongue with her tentacles and wiles. Then Santa Claus was free to make his trip around the globe. Yay! And Donna stuck an icicle into the chairman's front below. That is horrifying. It's empowering. Donna, the Christmas girl, she came back to the West. And she went straight to Macy's to buy bedding for her nest. She's a thoroughly modern woman and she saved the Western world. It's Christmas time and Donna is. It's Christmas time and Donna is. It's Christmas time and Donna is a girl. We'll and definitely use it. No.